Good day everyone, it's Mr. Chu. This video will teach you how to create a quiz or game using Microsoft Excel. On my screen here, I have the sample finish output of the quiz that you're about to make in a few minutes. So here in the directions, the illustration below shows the digestive system of a human. Supply the following items with its correct label. If you look closely, this image are connected with lines. And each line is pointing to a cell which are colored yellow. So let's say for example here in number one, I think this is pointing to the mouth. So to select the answer is to select the cell. And if you select the cell, the program will show to you a drop down button. When you click that button, then you can select the answer. So since this is the mouth, let's look for the mouth, mouth cavity. There you are. Second, in number two, another drop-down button on each cell. And it's pointing to the tongue. So let's look for the tongue. There. This functionality of Excel is only found on the yellow colored cell because if I click any of the white spaces here you can find any drop down button so this is the game that I want you to develop using Microsoft Excel so to start let's open file new create a new workbook so that we can start from scratch so let's minimize that and then let's go to our browser here so I will use Google Chrome and then in Google Chrome I will type probably thy just a system with labels here so since I'm looking for the image to be used for our quiz I will go to the image tab so that I can check the available so in this instruction I will only use a sample which has a few labels so that I can illustrate to you the game fast so I will choose probably mm -hmm, maybe wait let's do plenty go up probably here uh -huh. still plenty I will I think I should use this so let's click it yeah fair enough so right click copy image and then go to Microsoft Excel empty right click paste so here I can magnify I can increase the image there so with the image <coughs> I will now rename my sheet one as answer key so answer okay so this will guide me on the right answers of the labels of the image so I will copy this image, copy, right click, copy, go to sheet 2 and paste it again and, and rename sheet 2 as the quiz. So you can probably here, sit here and put your title of the game, uh -huh, lay mailing quiz and the direction direction directions identify identify the following Parts of the human. 
parts of human digestive system. There. So, in order for us to eliminate these labels, we can simply select the image, go to format, and let's crop. So, by cropping it, we are cutting the image by into smaller figure here there and yeah, I could no longer move farther or else I'll, I am distorting the image and then there here so I need to eliminate this word by inserting shape and in the shape I will draw the shape here there but it's colored blue with outline blue I can simply change the fill to white and outline to white there and then adjust so I will duplicate this copy and paste control V for paste so that I can also cover the rest of words in the image and then control C for copy again and control V for paste there you are so here I basically have the image with lines no name so you notice that this line is too short and did not reach did not point any cell except for this line so I uh, let me add another line that will connect from this image to here at least it it points to a cell oops sorry for that let me adjust first by the way we need to set the image to group all the added figure so that when we adjust right click and then group then select group so that when I adjust this everything will be moved so here the reason why I need to adjust the image so that the lines will point to a particular cell just as like this okay so maybe this line this line will put to here let me ungroup this first okay I think this one is move a little bit farther than the there. Mm -hmm. So that right click, go back to group there. So this line is pointing to this cell. Same with this cell. So let me color that with select those cells. Probably this line is pointing here, there. Let me add a yellow color for that and probably adjust a little to accommodate the long word. And there. So, uh, my problem now is to extend this line that will point in this cell. So, insert shape and then the line. Then I will adjust the line, go to shape outline, increase the width and the color black all right so there it's pointing now to this cell so let's select the cell and add color so same thing with this at line so click this line control c control v and then paste it here there so it is now pointing this line Another thing, wait one, ah, this one. So, Control C, Control V. Let's increase, and then point it here, there. So everything is pointing 
at everything, all the lines are pointing to a particular cell. So the next goal now is to put a formula such that when the learner in your when our students click the cell they have something to choose from all right so to do that let's go back to answer key and we will type all these words in in a separate cells in each cell so that to form so that we can form a list so I will type, we have the esophagus, and then liver, gall, bladder, the large intestine, appendix, next is rectum, the stomach, pancreas, oops, over there, S then small intestine, and I think I'm done. All right. Now, so that your students cannot guess whether it is, uh, it really starts with the esophagus. Then we will select all the, the list, go to data, and arrange it from A to Z, or in ascending order. And we have here, select, we will type on top, select the correct, sorry, correct answer. Alright, let's adjust the column width there. So this is now my list. With the list, we can go back to the, our quiz and put the functionality in the yellow colored cell. To do that is to select any of the yellow colored cell. So in my case, I just use the topmost yellow colored cell and go to data menu. And in data menu, go to data sorry go to data validation again in data menu data validation if you click the data validation you will be displayed on the data validation window under allow you need to change from any value to list once we have the list you will be asked for the source of the list to select the source is to click this rectangle bar under the source and then go to answer key sheet worksheet rather and let's move that select the list from the one we've created earlier there once it's selected click OK when you click OK you'll be redirected to the quiz that we made so when you click the cell you notice automatically the drop down button will show okay so if I click that then I have now the list that I made in the previous worksheet so probably I will use select the correct answer let me increase the width so that it will fit and here I will put the number, this is for number one, number two, three, this is for four, five, and this will be for six, sorry, six, that's seven, eight, and nine, so there are nine, so I am here, I will set this to that. Now, we will do the same thing for the rest of the yellow cells. Now, the good thing in this functionality is once the list is set and the path is also set, 
all we need to do is to simply click the cell that contains the list and the path and then control C to copy and then select each yellow colored cell by the way I was able to do that because I'm pressing control key while selecting each cell so by pressing control key control key you can select multiple cells in Excel so that's what I'm what I've just did earlier so all the cells yellow colored cells are being selected all I have to do now is to paste it by control V there you are so when my students click any of this yellow cell they can select now the right answer so let's play a little here so if I will select I think this is the esophagus I will look now for the esophagus there so I have now esophagus and probably this is the liver and so this is now my new labeling quiz or game All right so okay so probably I'll move this in here so that it will look good and my labeling quiz should be here there so if, so now I have I think this is the gallbladder I guess so and so on so that I can finish if and so on so that uh, once you click all of this you can choose any of that the any of the names that were placed in the list so there you are that's how easy to make a quiz or game using Microsoft Excel okay so if you have any questions just message me in our in my page thank you for watching I hope you learned something so see you on the next tutorial